Welcome back to GDPG. And High five and a million angels. You what? High five and a million angels. High five and a million angels. All right. <laughs> That's an unexpected start to the what? It's a It was a good show, all right? Anyway. So we're in the pause screen because you told me to be. Yeah, uh, I did because you pointed something out really good. Okay, so we talked about the objectives before with yeah. a little lone wolf cub there. And the and objective uh, we currently have is find some things to save wolf cub. So, uh, so obviously all, they're the, being funny about that, but, uh, are they, yeah, that's, they're totally being, I was going to say, I don't know, man. It just kind of sh- comes off as like poor English to me. I don't, I don't know. I, I, I like to put a little, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to put the benefit of the doubt in them and say that they're doing it to be funny. Find some things to save wolf cup. I mean, they could at least fi- say, find some things to save the wolf cup. I know. That's why I said they're, they're being okay. funny about it. <laughs> And you obviously, the humor's lost. The humor's lost. Oh, I'm backtracking. So yeah, but I, I was saying that it's very like nondescript. Like we don't even know what we need to find to save the wolf cub. There might not but be maybe, anything because we're an alpha. It's possible. It's possible or it could even be Would like... Poison for five seconds. Ooh, so it's kind of like not the, usable. The f- so it's like the fire thing you're talking about? I think so. That'd be I guess cool. we'll, we'll find out. Did you ever get the axe one? No. There's one where every time you attack, there's like a percentage chance that you'll throw an axe out. It will just shoot across <laughs> the screen. That's actually kind of awesome. It wasn't the most useful thing because it no, didn't it really... happen very often, but it was it was it was extra damage. That so was pretty cool. Oh my my friend. I'm having a good start here. No. Oh. Yeah yeah. See see the back pedal. He's backing up and attacking. Yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, poison poison those skeletons. Boom. Yeah, I don't really know how how you would poison a skeleton. You're overthinking it's like... it. Acid. Overthinking it. Just, just <laughs> overthinking it. I, I really am. <laughs> There's no, no need to think that deep about it. Oh, I hate that red monster ability. Get out of there. Get out of there. You got archers and shit. And you're down to 37 health. It could be worse. Oh, it. Uh, yes, it could. I will. Yes, it could. <laughs> it could be worse. You should shadow and backstab him. There Shift. We go. Boom. Finish him. Yeah. Got him. You got him in health. I feel like you always get a potion out of those guys. Uh, I don't know. I mean, maybe, right? Like, do you think that it, they, we should get a potion out of them always? Yes. I think so, too. Be Absolutely. Because totally there's so many. Because it's like, yeah, you've just ramped up the difficulty by almost like double by having a, a red monster on a field. A powered up enemy. I don't know what they the term is that people used in Gauntlet. That's fair. Um, for and you're you're basically doomed to lose a lot more health than you would have otherwise. Mm-hmm. Especially because the uh, the stun potion. Ooh, two potions. The stun that like just happens from basic attacks is really minimal on the red monsters. So like, it it kind of sets it up so that you're going to get damaged because the stun is the only thing that prevents you from woo, oh. taking damage in the first place. Even when you dodge, you don't dodge. I hate these guys so much. Oh, man. Their attacks are always very hard to predict. Oh, They're a little... Watch out. Woo! Woo! So can you get hurt by range attacks when I'm, you're in uh, Shadow? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Lost control. No, 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 no. <laughs> what happened? Uh, we're going to pause. <laughs> okay, we're back. Not sure when, when, what, what went on with the keyboard. Uh, maybe the game felt like uh, you were cheating. <laughs> it, I mean, possible, right? Not about the cheating, but like the game just being like, "How mm. dare you do so well with your 11 health?" <laughs> oh, oh <laughs> wow, no. I didn't even see that guy there. It was just, just you're so good. You're not even not even trying. I can see. Shadow dance, right click, well, and vanish to use. Let me so see it. Let me see yeah, it. Yeah, let let's see check it. that out after I kill this guy. So shift. Ooh. So you attack and then immediately follow it up with a knife? That might have been Phantom me knife. just like spamming the clicks. Um, not totally sure, but that's fine. It, he did... So was it like an area of effect attack? No, I think it was. Well, maybe it was like I, I think it's kind of like the shield bash attack where you just like rush forward, dealing damage uh, to everyone. Um, so I also that's kind of what I got out of that. Found out just then that you didn't use any of your um your mana resource or whatever the the magic resource. For the the shadow? Yeah. See, okay, so there are some that don't use. Yeah. 
It, well, the shield doesn't either, so. Oh, that's true. So yeah, maybe it's maybe it's those shifts in general that don't. Shift doesn't use. Uh... It's possible. Uh, the, I mean, the only argument there is sense. that the uh, that Linda, the archer, she uh, she has an active ability. It's not like really a passive thing. Mm. It's like use it and you explode a concussion thing around you. That's true. Like webs or something. But that Very one strange. has a cooldown too, doesn't it? Yes, it does. It does, but I don't I don't know if it does use the resource or not. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess that's sort of a good question, though, is, like, should... If they've established that as a mechanic for some characters, should they be consistent between all characters? I think it's generally good design to do so. Oh, yeah, I have been this way. I've also been looking around the map to see if there's any, um, like... Any some things for wolf, wolf Cub. Yeah, I'm worried that it's going to be something like this that already kind of blends into everything we've seen. So that was one of the first things that Rachel pointed out when we were playing. She was constantly like, oh, what is that thing? What is that thing? What is that yeah, thing? I was like, it's it's not anything. And she was like, but it looks like it should be a thing. I'm like, I can't fault you for that. It does post look like it should be a thing. And still there are times where I'll go up to them and, and I'll try to interact with them just to see sometimes they look so so different yeah there's like these 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 i would go up to and, and try to interact with because they also kind of stand out there's also an interact button that only is used to like go to the next floor so far but uh you wonder if it would be used for something else yeah right so i'm actually a little surprised that they made that a separate button maybe because they figure like if you're right up against the door fighting a bunch of guys like maybe you don't want to accidentally go through if you want to see these guys get killed yeah it's um i mean that it's a strange possibility i, I mean it, it's it, a pretty specific scenario yeah too. that's um but at the same time maybe they did it because they do plan on utilizing the uh interact button more that's fair shadow form yeah let's do that you know what oh too late oh, well. ran out it's okay it still worked out uh, I do kind of wish that there was a, a little bit of an indicator oh, no. that you were going to run out of a shadow step. Yeah, I don't know how I would do it. Like, I feel like putting anything in the UI might be a little cumbersome, but at the same time, like, say, like, the the count, the like, it timed out in here, I would mm -hmm. never see it because it's so far away. That's fair. Random, Random X. X. There yeah. it is. Yeah. <laughs> Well, still more area to explore, but, you know, I mean, you don't have to, but maybe you'll find some things for Wolf Cub. Oh, yeah, that's kind of my goal right now. Like, I really want to see what's beyond the, uh... You should backstab those guys. The boss. Yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah, and the poison killed the other guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, beautiful. Yeah, teamwork. I have it well. With your poison blades. Yeah, te teamwork. Oh, that axe is actually really welcomed. Yeah, especially with... Ooh, ooh. I thought I had that one. Especially with the poison. It actually works pretty well. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. I do need a potion, though. So, real bad. Um, just about... It, it, I don't know about uh, Linda's... Or, like, her ability yet, but just about everybody else's ability is something that you can pick up with a relic. Uh, so you can get the shadow step. You can get the, uh, the sword's ability. The... Uh, where you shoot swords everywhere. Shoot swords. Shoot swords. And, um, no. I got health somehow, though. Well, maybe you picked one up? Uh, Looked like a green potion. Maybe there's just, like, different types of potions? It's possible. Yeah, it's but, uh, I don't even remember what I was talking about anymore. Was... Linda. Oh, yeah, so I, I don't know about her ability, but everybody else's ability can pick up with a relic. So I'm wondering if some of these things, like, for instance, throwing axes or something like that, is that going to be an ability oh. that somebody else has? It could be. Wait, didn't you already find the exit? Uh, no. So that you relic area thinking... wasn't an exit? No, it was not. Oh, that may explain why I didn't get a relic when I went through on a third floor. Oh, because they're not adjacent? Yeah. Yeah, I huh. think that is... It. Oh. oh. Is it? Oh! <gasps> what? I want it. Let me follow it. Oh, go, go, shit. Go, 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 go. But, uh, oh no! Oh, I missed the button. You're good, you're good. Yeah, you can still see the trail. Just run, just keep running. Shadow, shadow. Shadowed. Get him. Oh, wait, going the wrong way. I think. Yes. Yes. No, I think. Yeah, this is it. Oh, God. Why is he moving in weird directions? I don't know, man. 
confuse me? Yeah, that must be it. Just, just go. Nothing matters right now. Nothing else matters. Did I get it? Now you have to kill all of them. Uh, 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 maybe they did not expect me <laughs> to just avoid them. You better be prepared for fight. Yeah, it looks I... like it's charging its laser. Oh! Get the egg. Get the egg. Get the egg. Uh, e. Mysterious, mysterious egg, egg found. found. Sweet! Oh, jeez. You need it. There we go. <gasps> Wait, the level up thing is kind of a bird, too. I wonder if that's sort of... Oh, no. Did oh, you just gain two levels in a row? I don't know, man. But the the level up bird looks kind of like that bird thing we followed. So I wonder if that's like a thing. What just happened? Can I hit through the walls? Oh, and they so can, can they. <laughs> that's okay. Look at all those potions. Ah, uh, mm. potion, potion, potion. Yeah, that was actually a really cool thing. I didn't, I didn't know what to expect out of that, but. I'm really curious to see what this mysterious egg does. I, I, I yeah, like, oh, okay, so is it still in your inventory? And I don't know if we have an active inventory. Yeah, hmm. It doesn't show anything on the pause screen. All right, well, I'm not really sure. Yeah, so I guess in each time you go to floor two, it seems like there's some kind of special thing always. And what I usually see are the challenge rooms, but I guess maybe this took the place of the challenge room? I mean, if, if there is always something on the second floor, that would validate my theory earlier. That, that... Whoa! Whoa! That's what the shadow dance oh, is! Oh, that makes sense. Okay, so you know, like, John's sword ability? If you hold on to it, it will continue to... It will throw bigger swords or, like, faster oh, or something like that. okay. Uh, so it's one of those things to where, like, if you only slightly use it, it is less powerful than holding on to it. But you use more mana, and the uh, cooldown takes longer. I gotcha. So that's cool. maybe that's like that. That's really cool. Nope. Nope. Oh, nope. I hit shift instead of space because I can't seem to Get remember out of what dodge is. Space. <laughs> it's space. It shouldn't be this complicated for me. Oh, critical 19 damage. You're supposed to be doing the crits, not them. I did some of the crits. <laughs> oh, poison, poison, poison. I like yeah. the random axe. <laughs> it's, it's just <laughs> funny. It feels very, um... Oh, what is that game? It's one of the old ones. Golden Axe. It feels very Golden Axe. That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's the point. I did not mean to do that. Well... <laughs> so, uh... Well, we'll figure out where to go in the next episode, I guess. Yeah. Well, next episode, hopefully, we'll be fighting the boss again, so... Oh, You're really cool. on, on floor two out of three. I feel like this was a very large floor. Oh, this you know, because you had to floor. chase after the bird. Yeah, that added they a lot. They gave you more. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Cool. Well, well here we are. Yep. All right, uh, so question of the day. Question of the day. Um, I mean, we can ask about that bird challenge. I mean, like... Yeah. We don't really know, like, what it is, but maybe should we know? Maybe it's better to be a mystery. I don't know. I feel like even, even after saving the cub, right, like, we just have a lot of... Questions. We're not even really sure how to do yeah, a lot of and these it, things. They, they could be right. Uh, for the for the bird, actually, what I wanted to ask was, in that moment when it happened, it was like both of us were like, go, go, get it, run after it. I don't know what it is. I just want it. I just want it. And then when you actually got there in, like, the trail was, like, mm -hmm. showing in gold, right? It was, like, glowing to let you know this, you better hurry up. Mm -hmm. And so when you got there, too, it had that moment of, like, wonderment. So that would be my question is really, um, in, in do you think that, that was utilized well enough to get us excited to really make us wonder like that what was going on that's very it, it is a very surprise and wonderment kind of style of, mm -hmm. of um like it's game design but it that's applicable to a lot of things too it's it's a uh, narrative through game design kind of yeah because right now now we're wondering what was that and then when you gained the level you saw the bird thing and you're like are those related? Is this the thing that I'm looking at now? Yeah, that's fair. So maybe the question is, what about it exactly? Like, or maybe what what components do you think really made that surprise and wonderment work? Yes. Because I mean, obviously, we were both like, oh, we want that, we need that. But like, there, there's pieces of it that got us so excited all of a sudden and yeah. out of nowhere. So, uh, what what do you guys think did that? Or, or did it the player it was, really you general. know where the, the was the response or the the reward we got was that yeah justified etc cetera, etc cetera. <laughs> the whole thing just all about it yeah yeah cool 
Well, thank you for watching, everybody. Be sure to vote if you want to see more Children of Morta. We're almost done with this recording session, so we're going to play more based on what you guys want to see. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you want to tell them about the... Never mind. Whatever. The Facebooks? The Facebooks. We had a Facebook page. <laughs> we'll see you guys later. Goodbye. pretty bad. <laughs>